Most people in America are appreciative of the fact that they like to give their children experiences. When they give their children experiences, it's very possible that they've already approached someone to test them, to check them over, to see who they are, or they've spent some time listening to them. The truth is that children do need to have positive experiences with adults. The problem is that we're rearing a bunch of children today that don't know how to be a parent in any way. No longer in America do we have home economics, where high schools and high school students can partner up with some partner in that program, whether they're a boy or a girl, and participate in parenting a pet egg. That egg is actually something that's starting to get spoiled in every way. It could be a hard-boiled egg, that's possible, but truth is they're not allowed to play around with it as if it's nothing more than a child. That child is often decorated, that child is often carried in a, in a bassinet, that child is often put to bed by that child, but openly the goal is to teach them how to be a parent. And frankly, I think it's kind of a stupid idea, but it's sort of unique in that when I was in high school, they did this, and kids often failed if they dropped that egg. The reality is that people do have rights. They have rights to procreate in every way, but if you're not teaching your children how to parent by allowing them to be babysitters, allowing them to go through that certification program, allowing them to read about parenting at an early age and what the responsibilities are to them but without talking to the children about what you do for a living, how they pay for the family house, how you take care of food, how you do things, then you're not preparing your child for adulthood. Because the teen years come, the hormones kick in, and openly at some point they want to mess around and do things that's not right and not prepared for. And neither is your family. Your family can't afford what can happen to a child who's not properly prepared for what's going on in their body. The liars of America don't regard the human body. The liars of America think they have the right to take someone, shave them, harm them, ruin them, and destroy them. And those liars are typically people in law enforcement who carry an American flag with different colors on it that were never made to be there. And that's the liar in American culture today that says, I will have my way regardless of what you feel about your life and your rights.